Hey everyone, Mary from SVG Cuts here, and I've got all kinds of brand new, really fun projects to show you. First of all, we've got this really fun little hot air balloon, and I think it would look so cute anywhere, just about anywhere. When I was done making it, I hung it up on my cork board in my craft room just to get it up out of the way, and it looked so cute there. I think I'm just gonna leave it there, and it would be adorable, you know, in your craft area, craft room, or in like a kid's bedroom, or whatever. So it's cool because it works on any mat size and it's really fun to choose your papers and to embellish it. So we've also got this really cool little butterfly wrapped favor box and you could make it out of any kind of paper. I happened to use vellum which was my first time making a completely vellum box because I've never had the proper adhesive before. So if I was to use glue on it like regular craft glue it kind of wrinkles up the paper a little bit and you can see the glue. But I found some vellum adhesive tape by Thermoweb and it totally worked. You can't see it and I love it. So I'm excited about that and I'll show you exactly what it looks like here in just a minute. We've also got a really fun word art card which I completely drew from scratch. I like I really took my time and wanted to make it look really kind of swirly and neat. So you can let your, your craft machine or your cutting machine you know, do most of the work and then you just glue it together and it looks really whimsical and really fun. So we've also got a, another butterfly themed bag here and this one is held closed by a brad which goes through the whole top of the box and it's so quick, so simple to whip up and it's, I think it's fun how it's got two layers with the vellum behind it. So this paper really inspired me with all these different projects because it comes with all kinds of really fun vellum which I'll get, I'll get to in just a minute. And we've also got a really nice little anchor here, which I put on this gatefold card. But of course, you could use your anchor on whatever kind of other project, make it bigger, make it smaller, do whatever you want with it. And I think you'll find that anchors are kind of everywhere nowadays, so maybe you'll enjoy working with that. I've noticed when I'm shopping, I see like cute little anchor themed things all over the place. and. I recently got a two peas in a bucket newsletter that was just all about anchors and anchor stamps and anchor paper, so hopefully you have fun with that. So the paper that I used this time, I love, love, love. I'm a huge fan of Dear Lizzie, and this is her new Lucky Charm paper by American Crafts. And this is the smaller pad of paper, and I used up a lot of the larger paper. It's also obviously 12 by 12, and it's double-sided. And the color palette is so cute. There's little umbrellas and horses and constellations, and I just love it. Anytime she comes out with any new paper, I'm like, oh, can't wait to get it. I order it right away, and I always look forward to working with it. So this is just one of the pieces of 12 by 12 vellum that's in the collection, and I had a lot of fun using it for my little box here. So hopefully you have all kinds of fun paper to pick from, and you can use pretty much any, any kind of cute paper, it's going to look awesome with these projects. So I've got all my pieces cut out to show you how these three-dimensional items go together, so let's get started. Let's start out with the simplest, quickest project here, which is this really cute little bag with a butterfly on it. And we've got the main piece of the bag here, and I've already glued on my two chevrons. As you can see, this one is flush with the bottom, and the smaller one is just flush with this flap here. So all we're going to do is put glue 
on this long side tab, and I'm trying to get it all the way out to the, the top and the bottom corner so that it's nicely glued on, which is always a good thing. And we'll just give it a second to dry here. And as I'm sure you could guess, obviously on the bottom, we just need to put a little bit of glue. I'm not being totally perfect here with my glue, but you get the idea. And we just fold the bottom into place. Super quick, super easy, super simple. And if you want to reach down and push from the top, that's always a good thing. So then, now all we need to do is put our butterfly on. And I think I'll put a little dot of glue on the back. I went ahead and glued the top and the bottom layers together just with a little bit of glue in the center. And I just want to line up the hole in the butterfly with the hole on my bag. And I think it looks cute if it's at a little bit of an angle, but whatever suits you is just fine. And then all we're going to do is pop a brad in here to close up the bag. And I think it looks good if you choose a brad that's almost the same color as the top layer of your butterfly, and then it kind of blends in. Actually, this was probably a bad brad choice because it's kind of it's holding down my butterfly a little bit, so I probably should have picked a smaller one, but you get the idea. So next we have our little box with the butterfly wrap around it, and I used a nice piece of 12 by 12 vellum here, and you can use regular paper and regular glue, but in this case I wanted to use vellum and I wanted to show you my new vellum adhesive runner by Thermal Web, which I found at Paper Source, <coughs> which is a store here in the Chicagoland area. I'm pretty sure they have lots of locations and they might sell this at Michael's. I haven't really looked for it or seen it before. So it's a little, it can be a little tricky to get going, but it's basically just like your average tape runner. So if you're doing vellum and you're doing something like this, you're gonna have to go ahead and put it on every tab that you need adhesive on now while it's flat because you can't really put the adhesive on once you start folding it up. So I need to put my adhesive on all, all four of these tabs. And I've got the side one here and I'm just going to line it up, close it up, and then I just want to close up the bottom here, which it's really obvious where it goes. It's just a matter of lining it up properly the first time since you can't really adjust it once you place it in place. So I, I didn't do the most perfect job placing it, but you get the idea. So I've got my box here, which is a little bit crooked because I'm not being careful enough, but it's not too bad. Okay, now for our butterfly wrap, we've got two pieces like this, and I'm just going to put glue on the tab on one of them. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory once you look at it. And I will give it a second to dry here and flip it over face down. And then we've got two pieces like this, which I cut out of vellum this time because I thought it looked really nice that way. And all I want to do is put, obviously, a nice thin little layer of glue. I don't think you need to put glue on every single piece, just maybe the outsides of the butterflies and the middle, the middle parts of each butterfly. And then just line it up as best you can. Do that to both of them, and then you can wrap it around your box and tie it with a cute little ribbon right here. And since it's so like there's so much going on here, I think it looks I think it looks nice with just a simple knot, not necessarily a bow, but you can play with it, get creative and do whatever you think looks nice. 
So finally for our hot air balloon, I've got all my pieces laid out here. And as you can see down here, I've got the main body of my hot air balloon. And it almost doesn't matter what order they go in. The only thing that matters is at the bottom of half the pieces, there is a little hole. So what you wanna do is make sure that they're alternating like hole, no hole, hole, no hole, you know, all the way down. So let's just grab one of them doesn't matter which one as long as they're in that alternating order and if you've done some of our 3d projects before this is going to be very familiar it's the same sort of principle where we put glue on all the tabs on the side of one piece grab the next piece and just one at a time glue each of these tabs to its neighbor so I've got one down, I wanna make sure it's pretty dry before I move on. And mine's already imperfect, so don't feel like pressured to make yours super scientific. Just do the best you can. Cause this thing is kinda of just the base of it and then it's gonna be covered up with all kinds of pretty, pretty colored, pretty patterned panels, which is quite a mouthful to say. So, all we're going to do is do the same exact thing that I just did again and I'm just going to work my way around the whole entire balloon with all eight pieces. So now I'm just on my final seam here. I've got all eight pieces glued together and I'm just closing up the balloon. And for this step I think it helps to start at the top as opposed to the bottom. For whatever reason it's just easier on my first balloon or on my last balloon before this one I started at the bottom and it was a little tricky when I got to the top and you're gonna have to wait for it to to dry maybe a little bit longer before you move on and there you go that wasn't so bad okay so now let's set this guy aside for a minute so next we're going to put this little top part of our balloon on and we've got this piece here which gets glued right here but first we want to put our string through because if I glue it on first and then I put the string through it's kind of difficult to get the string in there. So if you've got your balloon base piece and also this little panel which goes on top I seem to have lost my little panel, but you want to go ahead and glue the panel on top of this piece. And then you want to get your whatever string you want to use and however long you want it to be. And go ahead and trim off a little piece and go ahead and feed it through your top piece here through the two holes and tie it in a little knot or whatever it is you want to do and like so now we can go ahead and glue it on top I did not do it this way last time and I had to get a needle and thread and just try to dangle it through there it was it worked but this is much easier so all we need to do is place our little shape on top and all eight sides are the same length, so it doesn't matter which direction it's going in. So we can set that aside to dry, and let's take a look at our little basket here. I want to take the main piece of it and put some glue on the side tab of it, wrap it around, and line it up and hold it for a minute while it dries. And then I can go ahead and fold these pieces in and get them ready for the bottom part and I'll put glue on all eight of them I'm not being real careful with my glue just because I just want you to get the idea and I just want to line it up as best I can it's pretty good and I'll push down from the inside just to make sure that it's taking hold all the way out to the edges. And now, see when I was thinking about this basket, I thought it would be really cute if the basket was held up by twine 
or you know embroidery floss or whatever but it's pretty much impossible to tie all four of them in equal equal lengths I mean you can cut them at equal lengths but tying them so that the basket is level is seriously impossible I tried really hard so I think this is still cute which is good so all I want to do is tuck this inside and give it a second to dry and I'm just making sure that where there's the two little corners here those are lining up with the center and the bottom of my balloon piece my main balloon and I'm just going to do that all the way around give it a second to dry and I'm, I'm kind of bending it a little bit too and the fourth one is in place so the next step is to put our little panels in place and the only thing you need to make sure of is that the little hole you know four of these have holes and obviously there's four sides with holes so we want to line up those holes and all I want to do is put glue on just a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom we don't need glue on the whole entire thing and I'm going to just line this up give it a chance to dry and then give the top a chance to dry too and I just want to go all the way around my balloon with all eight panels and then if you want to do some little ribbons you could just tie them in I could just put this through this little hole and tie it in a knot just to have some little ribbons or little embroidery floss bits or twine bits hanging down I think that would look really cute if you want to do a tassel like I did we're gonna take about maybe about four inches maybe a little bit more because we can always trim it off if we have too much so I'm gonna cut three equal pieces or at least mostly equal is good enough and then I want to feed all three pieces through the little hole and if you have a little like stylus or a, a really fat needle or a pen or something to kind of poke through the hole it helps to get this through a little bit it also might help to get it wet on the end it kind of makes it easier to shove through there okay so I'm just poking it through with my scissors here and then I want to bring it out now we've got it about halfway through and I just want to grab another piece of twine just long enough to tie in a knot around and I'm going to wrap it around maybe once or twice and get it up as close as I can to the top as I tie a knot and then all I'm going to do is just trim off the ends very closely and then trim it wherever I want it to end now something else that I did that I thought was kind of cute was I unraveled each of these little pieces as you can see on this balloon here I just unraveled them all I thought it looked kind of cool so finally for our banner here there's two pieces that are identical and all we want to do is put one little dot of glue on one and attach it to the other one and we want it to be as as level as possible so I just I put it at the edge of my table so that I could verify that it's really level you could also you know do that with a ruler or any kind of straight edge because the the straighter it is the better and then we're going to close it up with one more little tiny dot of glue on the other side and get it as level as possible and let it dry so now now all we're going to do is take our balloon and you just want to lower it down on top of your balloon 
like so. And mine is missing some panels, so my banner is kind of loose, but yours will fit nice and snugly around your balloon. And it'll actually stay that way, but if you would like to affix it, you could take some kind of three-dimensional dot, like a glue dot. I like these, I use these all the time. They're by Thermal Web, and they're called Zots, 3D Zots. And they look like this. And for this project, I actually cut them in half, and then I took, they're super sticky, so you barely have to touch it to, to use it. And I just went all the way around my balloon and I slipped them underneath each little banner to hold it in place. And that's it. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.